everybody. I hope you are all well and I hope we are ready for this week's new drama lesson. This week we are going to be doing all about opposites. So we are going to be thinking about how we can use our faces and our bodies to show opposite emotions and create some characters from them as well. So shall we get started? So, as this week's lesson is all about opposites, our warm-up is going to be about that as well. So make sure you have got some nice space around you to move in, because we're going to be taking some steps forward, backwards, side to side, and we're going to have a go at playing stop and go. Ready? So for stop and go, you need to use good listening and follow the instructions that I give you. So I am going to call out the word go and you are going to move around your space. Then when I call out the word stop, you'll stop where you are. If I call out nod, you're going to nod once. And if I call out clap, you're going to clap once. Nice and easy. So we have go, stop, nod and clap. Shall we get started? Okay, everyone ready? Hands by your sides and go. Walking around your space. then okay so because I said this week's lesson was going to be all about opposites this time when I call out the different actions you have to do the opposite to what I'm telling you okay everyone ready so in your space and remember this time it's the opposite so stop go stop go stop Okay, who's ready for me to fasten it up a little bit? Let's see if we're really concentrating. Ready? Go! Stop! Go! Stop! Stop! Go! Stop! Clap! Clap! Nod! Nod! Clap! Clap! Go! <gasps> Well done, give yourselves a clap. Okay, so now we've warmed our bodies up a little bit, let's start thinking about how we can use our faces for our opposites lesson. So we're going to just do a quick little warm-up game where we get to use our emotions in our faces. Can anybody remember what that's called? Facial expressions. Well done to those of you who got that right. So we're going to do a facial expressions game. I'm going to call out a feeling or an emotion and you're just going to use your face to show me what your character might look like if you were feeling that way. Okay, so to start us off with, nice and easy and hopefully we're all feeling this today, I would like you to show me your happy face and I'll give you five seconds to show me your happy face. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one, show me happy. Very good, well done. Hope we had some nice big smiles on our faces. Maybe we're standing nice and tall as well. Okay, let's have a go at another one. This time, I would like you to show me your angry face. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Show me angry. Very good. I even leant forward there and used my hands to help me really show what I might look like if I was angry. What did you add to yours? All right, we're going to have one more. And this time, I want you to show me what you look like when you are proud. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Show me proud. 
Brilliant. Okay, so now we've thought about some expressions and emotions to use on our faces, I want us to think about the opposites to those emotions. So we had happy, we had angry, and we had proud. But what are the opposites to those? So when we're going to show happy, I want us to change it into sad. When we are going to show angry, I want us to change that into calm. And when we show proud, I'd like us to change that into jealous. Show me happy in five, four, three, two, one, happy. And now I want you to change that into sad. Are we ready? This time, we are gonna start with angry and we're gonna change that into calm. So five seconds to make your angry face. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one, angry. And five seconds to change it into calm. In five, four, three, two, our final opposite emotions is going to be starting from feeling very proud and ending up feeling very jealous, okay? So I'm gonna give you five seconds to make your proud facial expression and you could use your bodies as well. Proud in five, four, three, two, one, proud. And changing that into jealous. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so what I want you to do now is to watch my expression and for you to do the opposite at home. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to be sad. So I want you to show me the opposite of that. In five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, well done. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit harder this time. This time I'm not going to tell you the emotion that I'm feeling and I want you to just see what I'm doing and then think of what the opposite to that could be. So really pay attention to my face and body. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Did you get one? I was pretending to be jealous. So could you be the opposite to that? I'm sure they were great. Let's have one more. Okay. And again, I won't tell you what I'm going to be. I want you to just show me what the opposite could be. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Could you guess it? Yeah, I was feeling pretty scared. So hopefully you were there to maybe protect me and feel a bit brave or confident by my side. So now we've practiced having our opposite emotions and statues. Why don't we try putting them together as a bit of a scene, giving ourselves a bit of a character. So what I would like you to do is to choose one of the characters and the emotions that we have had so far. And then I want you to think, well, what could that character say? And what I would really like you to try and do is to not use the emotion word in your sentence. Shall I show you what I mean? Oh, I'm so jealous. I really wanted to win that award. But I used the word jealous. Hmm. So now I want to think of a sentence where I don't use the word, but I can still show that I'm feeling that emotion. So I might say, oh, she didn't even deserve that award. award. <laughs> that should have been me instead. So much better. So now you've got your character and you've got something that your character says as well. 
But if there's more people at home with you and they want to join in, why don't you put your characters together and you can start to make your own scene. Maybe even try putting together those opposite characters. So in your scene, you've got people feeling lots of different and opposite emotions. Okay, well, that's the end of our lesson for this week. Thank you so much for watching and coming on to get involved with it all. I hope you are enjoying doing them as much as I am enjoying making them from my house. So to finish off, as always, we are going to play a game of... Ha! Shall we get ready? Standing in a space with your hands by your side. Hands by our side. Let's see if we can get this all at the same time. Ready, concentrate. Ha! Let's try again. I always like to do a best of three. Second go coming up. Concentrate. Ha! Ooh, was that better than your first go? Did we do it at the same time? Let's have one more for good luck. Ready? a big clap for your drama today. I'm sure you were fantastic as you always are. Have fun, stay safe and I will see you soon. Take care.